Hey, Blub. What is it this time? Do you happen to know when the chemistry homework's due? Oh yeah, it's fine. I displaced the teacher. What? Talking about displacing things, today's video is about displacement reactions. Hello, this is Blub Beats, and today we will be talking about displacement reactions. I'm sure we all know that when a more reactive metal is put in a solution of a less reactive metal, the more reactive metal will displace the less reactive metal from its compound. But how does that work? Why do metals displace each other? What is the reactivity series actually describing? Well, we'll be going through all of these in today's video. Firstly, reactivity. Each element in the periodic table aims to have the most stable electron configuration. Elements are stable when they have certain amounts of electrons in each shell. A full valence shell, usually with 8 electrons, is considered ideal. When elements aren't stable, they want to either give or take away their electrons. Metals in displacement reactions are unstable because most of them have electrons in their outermost shell that they want to get rid of. When these metals give away their electrons, they become positive ions, otherwise known as cations. The reactivity series that you see is a chart about how easily it is for the metals to form positive ions. The easier they do, the more reactive they are. Now onto displacement reactions. During the reaction, the more reactive metal challenges the less reactive metal in the compound, as it has low ionization energy and wants to lose electrons more easily. The more reactive metal then donates its extra electrons to the less reactive element within the compound. A sort of chemical war happens between the elements with their attractions to the electrons, as the pulley rope. The more reactive element can yank the electrons away from the less reactive metal, which previously was holding onto them in the compound. This forces the less reactive metal out of the compound, and because of its loss of electrons, the less reactive metal is no longer part of the stable compound and gets pushed out. The more reactive metal combines with the remaining elements from the original compound to form a new, stable compound. Okay, now you know about displacement reactions. See you next time.